Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Ikigai with Jennifer Shinkai, coming to you live, but not live, obviously, when you're watching it, from Tokyo, Japan. So my name is Jennifer Shinkai, your host today, and I am so, so happy. It is Konatsu's first ever podcast we just discovered. I was like, oh, is this your first podcast in English? And she's like, no, this is my first podcast ever. Uh, so first of all, like the amount of bravery, courage, and all-around awesomeness to not only do like your first podcast, but to also do your first podcast not in your mother tongue is amazing. So thank you so much for being here. And yes, so today's guest is uh, Konatsu Ishijima, and we first met, I believe, through Points of View. So Points of View is a coaching tool that both of us are using, and I was really struck by Konatsu's energy and, most importantly, her artistic vision. And I have been following her on social media, and she always posts really joyful uh, videos of her dancing with her kids <laughs> on like, I don't know, we switch <laughs> and things like that. So it's re really joyful. But then recently I noticed that she was starting to do sort of much, much more painting and much, much more painting challenges. And um, I thought this is someone who's really having a shift in their Ikigai right now and someone who um, I think would be really interesting for people to speak to, because let me tell everybody a little bit about um, your background. So um, Komatsu was born and raised in, uh, in, well, you were born and raised in Tochigi and growing up, growing up in, in a kind of artist community, actually, in, uh, with your parents, but then went to study economics at the Keio University, which is kind of like, classic for those who don't know like it's a private university it's kind of one of the top private universities in Japan Keio and Waseda like really uh high class intellectual people go there right it doesn't seem yeah. to be the place that is art and then she joined uh, Leica Kamara so working in customer services um and kind of you know doing that for a bit and then in 2017 which is probably about the time I met you um uh, started to do colorful notebooks and then just getting to do more things, um, working with art, with um, different um, different companies and so on. You set up a theater company in 2020. Um, and then really now, the, this year, maybe in COVID, you can tell me more about that, like moving from the, uh, the pens to the brush, getting to acrylic paints and doing this amazing live painting um, to express people. Um, and as I mentioned, she's also um, uh, what looks like a brilliantly fun mom <laughs> to her, her daughter. And um, yeah, just a really wonderful person. I am glad to know and I'm looking forward to getting to know you more, Konatsu, and hearing your, your story. So my first question, because as someone, you know, born and raised in Japan, Ikigai. Ikigai, what does it mean to you? Oh, Ikigai, it's difficult for me. <laughs> no, for everyone to answer it clearly. <laughs> but for me, Ikigai is uh, enjoy the life with uh, both of happy things and uh, mm, uh, upset or right? <laughs> or <laughs> so enjoy the life both with the happy things and like the not so happy times like the yeah. sad times as well mm. oh, enjoy both emotion right and uh, watching how I change or how my friend or family or my daughter yeah and son change to see that is my ikigai right so for you it's about experiencing all the emotions and then seeing that evolution right the shinka like a pokemon everyone is like a pokemon uh, in, your, in your life yeah <laughs> yes 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 Wonderful. i keep going back to the 
past and go to the future and it's like shaking 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 and changing 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 so i call it the nanakorobi aoki in japanese so seven four boy. seven times seven. get up eight yes yes so nanakorobi aoki yes four seven times get up eight yes it's a guy for me Right, for you. So it feels like a very personal, um, personal description of the Ikigai. And um, you mentioned like shaking, shaking. I feel like in the English speaking world, there's the idea that the Ikigai has to be like one thing. Mm. <laughs> not, not your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know think about it, but uh, yeah, maybe it's my camera, so I have always both two things to culture, like the when I was born in artist community, but uh, I was born in countryside of Japan, so it's mm. a little bit conservative world, like right. everyone knows everyone, so everyone feel like relatives that, that kind of community right. so i always have two different values in my life so uh, like few male and female or uh, countryside and urban or uh, artist or logic or something ah. and i want to enjoy both of them so but it's very difficult to enjoy both of them. So I always shaking, 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 <laughs> changing, changing, changing. And it's my ikigai. <laughs> no. Right. So that, that shaking movement is your ikigai, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's, there's a movement between the movement between the two. And so like right now, t- tell everybody a little bit about like, yeah, how you're spending your time. Like what's making you feel iki iki? right now what's making you feel alive iki iki waku 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 yes in these days i love to express my shaking into the canvas with mm. colors so it's really exciting and uh, i realized that uh, i can enjoy both positive and negative emotion in the canvas together mm. so in the artist or something creative work get together both side of things like positive and negative or right. male and female or <laughs> something countryside and amber or it, i can make things get together in the white rank canvas with colors and moving brushes it's really waku waku for me right that makes you feel excited and yeah. yeah so I, I kind of i don't know which which part of your ikigai shift to kind of start with um and i almost want i'm going to start uh at the most recent one which i observed um so yeah your move from uh, pen, mm-hmm. color pen yeah. to canvas and acrylics, right? I, I think you still have many color pens, but you've, you made this, this shift recently into like live painting. Like what, what happened that made you go, oh, hang on. Oh, what happened? Yeah. My turning point was uh, going to coaching school and learning about the uh, Lutite method in the oh, I don't know this. Yeah. Please check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lut- Lutite. Okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> he was American high school teacher. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I tried to that method for me, and uh, I just uh, try to do something I want to. The, then I decided to make theater company because I have never been to theater company and I have never do play. <laughs> so I, but I just want to play. So and uh, using body and language and everything in the play, 
I feel like that I want to express this shaking feeling without words. So, because I always try to express my shaking feeling with the word, mm. but, but uh, because uh, everyone uses words, so I want to make understood in words. <laughs> Right. So, yes, <laughs> but uh, uh, in the theater play, I just realized that maybe someone they are understand myself without words. So I just tried to that, and uh, I just try to use the no enoguda. Uh, paint, paint. Paint, yeah. Paint, yeah. <laughs> Switch from crap into paint. Yes. And uh, without words, words. Right. So shifting the, shifting the media, shifting the language to be yeah. the language of, of color and texture, I guess. Yes. So right. I just into abstract words. Yeah. Yeah. And then if uh, I, I believe this is my correct understanding, you're also sort of using that with your clients, right? For, from a coaching perspective, how does that work? I'm so fascinated. Oh, or like you're doing, you're doing like live painting with people. Yes. It's, yeah. Uh, Tell me about that process. <laughs> <laughs> Separate from coaching. Mm. Live painting. Because uh, in the coaching session, I always uh, use the words and uh, I treat the words really seriously. Right. But in my live painting session, I forget the words, just get the inspiration of them. Yeah. Actually, I listen to the words, what they say and what they think or what they feel. But uh, I don't use the words for output, so it's really different for me. Mm. Mm. But mm. in my <laughs> past session, past session with using color pen, mm. I, I want to, I said to my client to use colors and just write down what you think or what you feel using words or using shape or using abstract thing, everything is okay. So just, uh, just drawing in the blank paper, I said. Wonderful. I really, really love that. So I'm thinking, you know, my, um, I've sort of come back to art after being away for, 25 years and like what it feels like to what not use <laughs> yes yes I didn't really do much art since I was about 16 I did a art GCSE and then like having this long time like kind of pulling me pulling me back so I was really interested to hear when you you were in the in the, the questions I was asking you before the session and you were said like there became a point where I was able to like say I'm an artist Mm -hmm. right you were able to hold that identity yeah 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 Yeah. so tell tell a little bit about that because I think when people are thinking about their ikigai and they're thinking about yeah there's something something more I want to do maybe I want to move away from the words I want to move away into this other world mm -hmm. but like I'm not an artist I'm not a writer I'm not a blogger I'm not a whatever I'm not and um, I'm interested to hear like how you moved through that journey from being not an artist to an artist mm. in, in yourself, right? Yeah. In yeah, yourself. Yeah. And how you got over maybe some of the things like about um, comparison or mm -hmm. other people's opinions, yeah, those yeah. kind of points. Sorry, my father is an artist. He making portraits in my mm. hometown. And uh, 
my mother also graduated the artist college so maybe my parents criteria of artist was really high i think mm. and uh, <laughs> i thought i thought my parents criteria of artist was very high and uh, i have so many friends of artists so i always compared with them and uh, i think i can't say the artist but um, now i have been long journey of <laughs> my life and uh, i'm learning some coaching and uh, i have some clients in my session and uh, now i realize that uh, i can be the artist because someone want me to paint it's uh, enough for me to be artist mm. yeah and uh, i don't know but uh, i always say you are artist from my friend or someone <laughs> so uh, i realized that uh, only me <laughs> <laughs> I only me don't think I am artist. <laughs> right. <laughs> so everyone's like, yeah, Kanatsu is an artist. Yeah, Kanatsu, you're an artist, aren't you? And you're like, me? everyone. Right? <laughs> and do do you remember? Do you remember the like the the maybe not, but do you remember the time like when you were able to like go up to someone and say, "Hello, I'm Kanatsu. I'm an artist." <laughs> yeah do you remember like the first time that you said that or when you felt confident uh, in that identity uh, that first time i can't remember but it's just three months ago oh it's a very new identity for you yes not right not, no 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 i just start April 20. Right. Yeah, so, go, oh, no, go, look. Not six months, Not five, six, five months. Five months. <laughs> Almost six months. Yeah, just six months before. Hmm, that's, I, oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, um, so like six months before you you felt uh, like okay. Yeah, I posted my picture drawing yes. in my Facebook and Insta and uh, everyone made in it, in it, in it. Like, 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 yeah. <laughs> and everyone says, it's natural for you. <laughs> so I just... Uh, accept i can accept the artist identity naturally mm. so i can't remember that uh, when i first <laughs> interesting okay but uh, it was uh, something in that yeah it was very natural for me so i can accept the name of artist mm. all right good good to hear i think sometimes people uh, are challenged to accept this new identity and I really like what you say because you came from a family of artists right so it's it's got this other layer um so if people come from a family of writers or a family of anything right like a family business um we would sort of maybe either reject it or then we say no okay I want to do it but am I as good as x right all that comparison is coming up um I want to ask you though back to the um, the shift from um, the shift from corporate because I think that was a a first sort of step in a in a shift in your or maybe what what you were doing in in your corporate role and then what was it that made you you know great great company great opportunities seems like you're enjoying yourself with all your clients 
Mm -hmm. But then you, you, you moved away. So what, what was that sort of uh, shaking, shaking moment? <laughs> <laughs> there was a shake, I think. Yeah, my turning point of the shift from corporate was my daughter's born, birthday, morning. Mm. So maybe after my daughter's birth, yeah, I felt that I didn't have enough time for me, for private time. Mm. Maybe a lot of working parents feel that kind of things, but I can't stand it. So <laughs> I need some my time. Right. Uh, so um, and uh, I feel that uh, my daughter has a lot of the potential and she can do everything what she wants to. But uh, in that time, I realized, oh, I also can do that. And uh, it is only work for as a mother, because uh, if I want my daughter to do what she wants, I need to do what I want. Ah. So I decided to leave the company. Right. So like the, the, the idea of being the role model, mm -hmm. like, and so if you're saying to your daughter, oh, you can do anything you want to, you can do, you can say it, but if you're eating dinner with your partner and saying, oh, I can't do anything that I want to, I have to do this, I should do this, like, hang on, mommy, <laughs> mommy, you said I can do anything, why can't you do anything you want to? <laughs> yes, yes. So children learn from our actions, not from our words, right? She pushed me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she was a very, very little baby, but she has to be very powerful. <laughs> she was really yeah, powerful. <laughs> a great inspiration uh, to see to see yourself as having all that um, all that potential as well. Yeah. And I feel like um, maybe this is your social media presence, but uh, I feel like your daughters are really strong influences um, and <laughs> guides in your life and are like an, an object of your ikigai. Yes. Um, so, yeah, tell, tell me a little bit about like your, your ikigai as a mom, as a mother. As a mother? Yeah. Yeah. As a mother. I just want to stop her. I just want to disturb her so I want to, my daughter to be free so, mm. um, but for me it is a very good ikigai to see the relationship with me and my daughter because I am mother so I tend to be becomes the power i mean the... yeah <laughs> yeah so yeah, there's I... like a power dynamic right mother daughter power dynamic. for sure i have a daughter yeah. as well and a son yeah sometimes i can i i treat her from top of the tower and yeah. say something <laughs> look down for yeah. her it is very easy to be that, but uh, I want to be flat relationship with my daughter as possible as I can, because I, uh, I need to protect her from the, uh, from the disaster or something, yeah. <laughs> accident or something, yeah. but uh, I just, want to make the really uh, flat relationship with my daughter. It is really challenging and it is really difficult to make the flat relationship with my husband or friend or something, some other people. So this is my ikigai. <laughs> right. To build, to, to have flat flat relationships and I, I love that I really like that because it's 
there's so many roles that we play and then it's easy to fall into that relationship role like that how we see it on tv or how we see it in our family when we were growing up right like this is what parents should be like together for example but of course you know your your husband comes from a different context right his family <laughs> that was different how his parents talked to each other and your family different uh so and then how you bring them together how to make it how to, i like that to make it um uh, make it flat and and one thing i feel like you know sometimes people I, I get this idea that there's a, an identity. I don't know why I'm very obsessed with identity at the moment, but an identity as a mother, right? Mm -hmm. but for example, or as a father or as a parent, whatever. But I feel like you, I love your word of shaking because it changes all the time. Because when you're the mother of the newborn, mm -hmm. yeah, the kind of power dynamic, well, actually very interesting power dynamic, right? But it's a different relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I literally you you have to you have to show up uh this child will not survive without you and then and then it's a constant shift it's the the constant shaking from that 100 percent needs someone mm -hmm. to as a mother or as a father any parent you actually need to make yourself have no job anymore mm -hmm. like if your child always needs you to be with them mm -hmm. i feel like my ikigai as a, as a mom is that my children can leave home and be useful adults out in the world and they don't need me it's really sad actually though <laughs> <laughs> but like that's my that's what i need to do yeah, yeah, yeah i don't yeah. want them to live with me for the rest of their life but it's not just about that but it's like i i want them to be able to stand on their own two feet and to be out in the world and of course to still have a relationship with me but also to be independent humans yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so it but it's that shaking for me too because at one point it was like i mean my daughter now is um 13 no 12 I can't remember what she <laughs> nearly 13 <laughs> nearly 13 um and it's like oh yeah she knows i don't know everything now yeah, 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 she yeah. knows I make a lot of mistakes. Oh, my daughter knows too. <laughs> yeah, I think they know a lot younger than 12. <laughs> yeah, but maybe your younger daughter, your younger daughter is how old now? Younger son. She's oh, younger son, sorry. Yeah. Your, your younger son is? He's uh, just one and a half years. Yeah, so maybe he doesn't know yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not perfect. <laughs> Yes, he's yes. really, really cute, but it's really interesting that uh, my daughter and son uh, think both of them is equal. So they say, why my younger brother can't do that? Why my younger brother can't hold my hold the towels? <laughs> can't something do do we, do do we. <laughs> yeah. and he always do something no 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 my mom is for me <laughs> bye bye <laughs> sister <laughs> something she don't use the word but uh, he his body is, language <laughs> yeah something i'm equal of my sister <laughs> it's really interesting to see that that's yeah. amazing wonderful and I, I think um you also mentioned that you get like a lot of kind of maybe ikigai can like ikigai feeling from when you're moving your body sometimes mm -hmm. with your kids and on your own could you could you share a little bit more about what you do yeah uh, i just uh want to do dance but uh, i'm not good at music and i'm not good at uh, sports and uh, it's uh, it's my complex that uh, i'm not good at dance but now my daughter is really good at dancing so and my husband plays the guitar so hmm i want to dance with her is my husband 
guitar, so <laughs> I just now practice uh, uh, doing dance with my daughter. So, and uh, it is very good for my family because uh, uh, she sometimes don't want to go to the lesson of dance, but uh, when I play with her, we uh, play together with the music or with the dance. She says she can be my teacher and, oh, no, no, mom. <laughs> Please look at me. I'm really good at dancing, say that. And she, her motivation goes up and up. And uh, my husband come together. Oh, it's good stretch. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I have no time to do sports, but now is the time to the stretch. Mm, it's nice family time. Says. Wow, <laughs> so, I love it. And my younger son really enjoyed that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so just dancing, just dancing freely as a, as a one and a half year old does. Wow, so it becomes this um, yeah, there's so many wins, so many wins on this, right? Like you're able to get over your complex because yes. it's number one and uh, your daughter, like you talked about, like the, the dynamic, right? Um, it's quite interesting. We talk a lot, like you talked before about, you know, countryside and urban and man and woman. And we have this, like <laughs> this dynamic um, of the, like shifting that, shifting that dynamic. So that the child becomes the teacher to the parent, right? Is a new thing. And then, um, yeah, and your husband joins in freely as well. It looks like a, a great time and a great win to just move move the body. I think people sometimes are like, oh, it has to be really, I have to go to the gym or I have to do some like serious exercise. But sometimes just dancing with your kids is enough. Yes, yeah. so it's kind of my art. So <laughs> dancing yes. is a part of art and uh, uh, dancing art has the power, painting has the power to get things together in the same time. Mm. So I love that movement of the movement and power of art. Yeah. What, um, actually, this is not a question which was in the Ikigai <laughs> discussion at all, <laughs> but maybe you have an opinion because I know that in, you know, in COVID times, of course, the arts all the performing arts have really been hit um, and a lot of funding has been cut. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So a lot, it's very hard to get money for the arts, but you know, for the power of art for you, like the power of art to inspire Ikigai feelings in people, like tell, tell me about that, your impression as an artist of Ikigai and art. Yes. I think COVID is also my turning point. And uh, yeah, COVID stopped the or art performance, but uh, in online, like the Facebook Live or something, the, the artist, everyone tried to express and uh, it become our Ikigai because I, we watch the Arashi's live in YouTube or <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The Arashi, for so those who don't know, a big, very popular Japanese band. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. not really boy band anymore now. They're they're kind of men, aren't they? <laughs> they grew up. <laughs> They've been going for a few years. Well, so you, yeah. Sorry, you watch the, the Arashi performance on YouTube and carry on. Well, pianist Makoto Odone, he's mm. famous jazz pianist. And uh, in the Facebook group, he, yeah, he was doing like uh, every evening, right? Little, yes, every evening he plays a free Facebook live. And yeah. uh, in that time, I just uh, giving birth my second baby, my younger son. So I feel that uh, I need art and. Uh, Art is really powerful to mm. motivate us. So I can accept the identity of art, I think, because uh, I, ha I think I have to be the person who is something useful. And uh, mm. I, 
I can't accept that art is useful for <laughs> something or for some disaster or、um, critical thing. Yeah. So, but、uh, in COVID, I think for your fuku entertainment、yeah. or art is really powerful to someone's life. I really realize that. <laughs> so I have been prepared to accept the identity of art, I think. Yeah, I, I really love what you said there about like the. It's, it's hard to accept like the power of art in a crisis. It's, supposed, it's entertainment, it's something light, it's something fun.、Right. But how many people? Were tuning in to Ozono san's lives, or yeah. Um, yeah, like like people like me. Like, I started an art class, an online art class, after not doing for because I needed some way to express myself and to also shut off、yeah. the noise, right? And just to be in flow, like to be just in the here and now, like, like this part of Ikigai, right? Being in the here and now when you have the white page in front of you. There's nothing else. That's all. Start now and just, just do, just move.、Um, so I really think it's an、um, amazing force in the world. And、yeah. it gets like kind of sidelined as it's just entertainment. But、um, somebody said there was a, my friend Jason DeLuca shared like a Winston Churchill quote. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but it was something about like, You know, art is what we're fighting for, culture is what we're fighting for. It was about the Second World War, something. I'll have to find it and, and share it later. But, like, if we don't have art,、mm -hmm. what do we have as human beings? Yeah. Yeah. So, this is, this is your power. This is what you're doing in the world as an artist, k o n a t s u s a Yeah. Yeah. Big pressure. <laughs> Boy, dance with us. <laughs> yeah. Now he. Catch the my pen <laughs> during something, so everyone has the soul of art and we human beings creative something, so everyone is artist, yes, yes, yeah. And that's, I think, one of the sort of you know, there's I, so many people who are like,、oh, I'm really like, I like to do art, I like to draw, I like to paint, but I'm not an artist, right? And then, um, there's a lot of barriers. Around, <laughs> around art.、Um, and what's, you know, like, is it good enough? Or like, also some、um, snobbery. I don't know, you know, Hanaga <laughs> Takainaga. Like,、um, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, what do you think of this painting? Oh, can you see the artist's impression? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, I just like what I like, right? So,、um, like, what are some of the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 like about, <laughs> Culture rather than like the spirit of art to move you that we've just been talking about. Well, so, what are your thoughts about people who are feeling maybe they're feeling some some pull, you know, to to express themselves and they feel like maybe my ikigai is lying in art somehow, but oh, they're, they're feeling some internal barrier. Yeah, I think yeah, this was a journey、yeah. you also went on. So, could you share? Yeah, I also have a really <laughs> thick body. <laughs> so, really, really high bar. I s a i it's a really, really high bar to be an artist. Yeah, but、uh, actually, my husband always says, Oh, you're an artist, so you're waving, 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 <laughs> up and down, and up and down. Yeah. And,、uh, Yeah, but I don't want to accept the artist to escape from the real world. So, but、uh, now I'm drawing a picture for someone because I have the, some model, some muse to get inspiration. So, and、uh, I can I realize that I can cheer. Some one with the, the power of art, or sometimes it becomes the、uh, 
healing, healing. Healing, yeah. Uh, so it's very powerful healing. <laughs> yeah. So that I can accept the to be artist and uh, actually in COVID the time I don't drawing painting but uh, I always put some my life like my younger son doing something or uh, with my daughter doing this kind of things or I think this kind of thing or some other kind of essay with the picture in my SNS and uh, some people say it is my pleasure of my COVID life to see your post. Or I always check your Facebook every day or something. And uh, I don't think, I didn't think that uh, I have the influence to cheer them up, but uh, they said it is really enjoyable for me in this dark COVID days. It's kind of some powerful time. So, and I healing from this post or something. So I can accept to be the artist and I named this my action. Oh, it's kind of entertainment or kind of artist. Artist is not gifted person or famous person like Arashi or Makoto or something. <laughs> but I can be the artist. Some a few people for my friend or for my friend of friend or something. Uh, they are a small world, but uh, I can be the artist. Yeah, I be I can believe that. And that's, I think, um, for me, like, that's one of the, like, the heart of Ikigai is, like, why am I here? Mm -hmm. And the, the reason, and, and in this, this ability to touch somebody else, to make them feel better, to have, like, um, to be a little ray of sunshine in their day through some small, small social media post, right? <laughs> maybe not not many people see it but one person says, sees it and it makes them smile mm -hmm. like that's that's the the human connection part of ikigai like the relationship part of ikigai for me and um and it it, it sort of on an individual level okay i'm having a positive impact on someone else so that's great and then they go off into their day and, and they feel better but also it gives me the neck the reason to like wake up again tomorrow because somebody needs me and i have an impact on someone else yeah. yes yes well this is <laughs> but this is also from your story right this is also from your story but i think um many people listening are um you know, you, they're, they're doing small things like this and going, is this ikigai? But it, it can be when we're thinking about the, the feelings of ikigai, this feeling of like being here, of a sense of your own existence. Mm -hmm. When someone says, I saw your silly post or like, actually, I, I get a lot of, uh, so I always post my boring running things. But so many people said, thank you for inspiring me to start running. Yeah. Mm -hmm right? And I'm not a very fast or good runner, but because I'm not a very fast or good runner, mm -hmm. that actually can be more inspiring than, you know, following Usain Bolt or Mo Farah or, you know, like an amazing, an amazing runner, just like some middle 40s, <laughs> big drinking woman, <laughs> like you can... <laughs> Oh, so maybe I can do it too, right? It's a, it's a, it's a positive impact that we can have in the world. But also, um, I know we're we're close to the end of our time. I'm not sure I want to ask this question, but we've really focused a lot on like the positive uh, emotions. Um, but you talked also a little bit about the like negative, um, yeah, negative yeah. emotions of ikigai, and I think it's a part that in the English speaking world we don't talk much about. But um, actually, like we can be feeling ikigai in our anger, in our rage, in our sadness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very aware of the pain that we are in at this time. So do you have any comment? It's a very random question, I know. <laughs> Actually, I don't always express my anger or sadness in my post. Mm. But with 
book or blogs. So I always writing that kind of things. And uh, this is also my ikigai, how to face my sadness or how to face my anger. Maybe uh, I always feel disappointed or something, so easy to be disappointed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I felt down. Mm. But uh, that time I always writing something. Yeah, now I sometimes don't use the words, but right. <laughs> past time I always use the words to write down something so that I'm really sadness and I don't feel like doing anything and blah, 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 <laughs> something. Mm. What I feel, what I think, what comes into my mind, everything I, I have, into the white blank paper with the words and uh, after that I edit it <laughs> for my blog <laughs> because right. uh, yeah nobody can handle all of that truth maybe <laughs> yeah because uh, I don't want to read the story of that uh, uh, kind of uh, how do you say Jikokenji. Oh, like a hellish, hellish yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Please look at me, look at me, look at oh, me. Oh, like a pity party, like self pity. Self like pity. A self pity yeah. or the victim kind of thing. Yes, yeah. indeed. So I just write down self pity things in my private notes and I edit to. <laughs> I, I leave some pity self-pity yeah. a little bit but after that i make it joke to edit to the blogs and spread the word mm. uh, yeah. it was my kind of ikigai because uh, mm, i always practice to express my feeling in the with the word because uh, uh, when I was a childhood or a baby, I just get inspiration from the, without the word. And uh, I'm not good at using words because I can get the inspiration without words, something like the color or something. Mm. So I don't know, how do you say it in English maybe? In Japanese, it, we call it kyo kankaku, so synchronicity or something. Maybe, yeah, synchronicity, perhaps. Curiosity? No, kyo kankaku, chigao. I don't know. We'll ha we'll we'll Google that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Soon. This is a shame. This isn't alive, and then some kind person could be putting into the, uh, the notes. It's not oh, my Japanese sucks. But, but uh, I just. Uh, get the, some color of the person or some colors of the word or some emotion from mm. that's the word, word. Oh, um, like, is it like intuition? Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah, yes, it's kind of intuition, mm. but uh, only intuition, it is difficult to communicate as a person. So mm. I learned to use the word and practice to use the words. Maybe I made the effort for using words <laughs> more than as a person who can use the words, right. I think. Mm. <laughs> so now I become the, I can express the whole feeling with the word. Like, so maybe if you want me say, please explain this abstract painting, I, I think I can say the words, the really long sentence. <laughs> but you can capture in one canvas, same <laughs> message. Yes, yes. So painting is much more easier for me. <laughs> See, like this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I always uh, express my negative feeling with the words and uh, in the blog and uh, 
but uh, I always I said uh, I always edit something and uh, with the joke and uh, become a kind of comedy or something. <laughs> so it's it is uh, my ikigai and uh, it is my healing for me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So make things comedy in the blogs. I can think the sadness or uh, anger things like comedy. So my brain also changing. <laughs> yeah. My emotion is also changing. So negative things and anger things is really good inspiration for me. Mm. Uh, yeah. So That's I, the way you can you can shake it up still. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes I love shaking up. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like oh, here's a new sense of emotion, or oh, here's new anger emotion. So I always something enjoy what what sounds <laughs> like mm -mm -mm. <laughs> what my anger wants to say <laughs> something. So if people are uh, are listening rather than watching, you need to go and watch this part on YouTube because there's a lot of body language going on between myself and Konatsu with this uh, <laughs> this thing up for those on audio only. Uh, but we're nearly out of time, Konatsu. So I wanted to ask you if you have a final message, a thing that you would like to share with all of the listeners of Ikigai with Jennifer Shinkai, something to inspire them or to motivate them or to give them freedom to do whatever they want to do yeah. yeah i think in this interview i realized that alto is the accept the both side of things like male and female or countryside or urban side to get together and uh, uh, making it flat at the same time. So I have, I think art has really powerful and uh, also art is not for the only gifted person. Everyone be, can be artist. So just put the high bar. <laughs> lower <laughs> so just get the barrier <laughs> off yeah and and, uh, and just enjoy that what do you think or what do you feel on what comes in your mind i think it's very good expression <laughs> for you yeah. and that's one way people can unlock the feeling of ikigai in themselves, right? If we always have the, the barrier and the high bar. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, we never get to experience that. So knock it down for yourself. Great message. Thank you so much. And thank you for all your time and energy and your wonderful posts. Um, if you're not already following Konatsu on uh, <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, uh, all of her details are going to be down in the show notes. Um, so you will get so much joy um, <laughs> fr and from her creations and her paintings are so beautiful. And um, I hope you were able to capture some of the essence of her energy and her <laughs> lust for life and her ikigai today. It was amazing to talk to you. I can't believe this was your first podcast. Um, and in doing it in English is fabulous. So brave. So wonderful. Um, and I look forward. Yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, what you create next in the world. Oh, I just want to collaborate with something like that. And, um, my friend made the Nihon Shu Sake, Japanese mm. sake. And uh, I drawing the label of that photo. Yeah, it was really enjoyable for me. It was really wonderful. So I want to collaborate with something or some person with the art because art has the power to make things get together. <laughs> so, yes, yeah. wonderful. So if you've been thinking this project needs something, 
this thing that we're doing in our company needs something extra, then contact Konatsu for collaboration. <laughs> yes, <laughs> details down below. Awesome. Yeah, I can subscribe. <laughs> We've been following YouTubers here. All right. So thank you so much, Konatsu. Thank you everyone for staying to the end of today's episode of Ikigai with Jennifer Shinkai. And I hope to see all of your artwork, um, your lines that you draw, the things, everything that uh, your takeaways are from this session. Uh, from this session, I sound like I'm coaching, from this episode. Wrong, wrong job. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much, everyone. Enjoy. Bye-bye. Yes, shaking life. Shaking life. <laughs>